Hello, hello. All right, everybody, welcome into week seven watch party. We've got a fun one. We got Army and Navy, uh, one of the best games of the year um, that we haven't really ever focused on because they just haven't been that good. But uh, today we've got Army coach Coolio, lots of SFA players to look at. So first up, Julian Kemp, he got massive uh, progression up to a 91 overall. Uh, it has not translated to success on the field. Um, but then in the backfield, Ruddy Rogers uh, is the starter, I believe, the little 5'6 back SFA player, so we should see him a lot. Um, at wide receiver, you got Michael Davis, Danny Hale, Scott Mc McClellan. Um, I think that they moved away from a triple option team, so uh, we should see the wide receivers matter. And then we got Major Cash, SFA player here, see if he can do anything. And then on the offensive line, uh, pretty good for a G5 team, especially they got Buzz Modella, SFA player, uh, the reward player for uh, for Bear Cave. So we'll see what he can do. Um, and then Orlando Moss is from the transfer portal. He is a former East Carolina Pirate. So we'll see if he is impactful today. On the defensive line, you got Ryan Thomas. On the other side, Marcus Williams. And in the middle, you've got Drew Kearney and Mort Knudsen, SFA player. And then um, Mark Roberts, and then Travis Rowe, um, and then Stephen Long is injured. So I know he made a depth chart change. It is in effect, uh, just not on the screen, um, but I forget who is starting there. And then out wide, Kenzo Carter, the SFA player, as a freshman. Um, Derek Ryan, Nick Moses. So pretty, pretty good corner class for a G5. And then on the back side, you got Kevin Bozeman. Steve Robinson and then AJ Harris who is a senior kicker and he is good so 87 83 that should be perfectly fine especially in this kind of a game uh, I thought Army would be good this year because they have a really good roster but they might just be a little bit too young but they're taking on the surprising three in one Navy um, led by I it's Damian Broussard he is probable to play I think or Robbie Jones I'm not exactly sure um, we got Kevin Harvey and Brandon Dykes in the backfield, Robbie Crosby, Joe Stuckey, Bernice Cesaro, SFA player, so we will see his debut. Chris Cooley is an SFA player at tight end as well. And then a uh, pretty bad offensive line, but that's kind of what option teams do, undersized, um, undervalued linemen, and you win with misdirection, right? And then uh, Ty Terry, SFA player here, 84 overall. And in the middle, Mike James, Jarrell Simmons. And then uh, linebackers are pretty meh. Brad Wiggins here is the best one. And then out wide, this is, if Army decides to throw the ball, they should have a great time. Really bad corners. Um, and then in the back, Chad Everett and Anthony Hines. And then Chris Battle is the kicker. Another really good one, so... Uh, he's more accuracy, so the power might be slightly lacking, but a really good kicking matchup today. So maybe we'll see one of those iconic um, Army-Navy 9-6 games or whatever. Um, hey man, he may be no good past 20, but he ain't going to fucking miss him, so. <laughs> so those are Shit, the rosters. 97. Those are the rosters. We are going to get into the game. Obviously, it is watch party, so everyone can and will talk as much as they please. Um, and then this is an all-time uniform matchup for a game day. So whatever you guys want. We'll start with the home team, though. Navy. Um, I've always loved these Blue Angels ones. That you have to rock the Blue Angels for them. Yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah that's my pick. Um, I like the uh, FA one. FA 18. Um, yeah, I like that or the Blue Angels. Well, we could I, we'll do the army. So I care about the helmet for the Blue Angels. So what I if we do, do not like them. What if we do the Blue Angels with the? Uh... Yeah, whatever that white uniform was with the camo shoulder sleeves. That was fucking fire. Like, hear me out. We just make the grossest combination of uniforms. Oh God. That sounds good to me. Like that with like the light blue pants. Oh yeah, yeah with the yellow. No, that's Army's color. So do like the the bright blue really? pants. Do no, keep going. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. 
beautiful. Very they have, away, like, they, let's see what they have here. Yeah. I don't think Army has anything but like black. No, they, they have a they have a few really good ones. I really like their um, first team jerseys. Oh, with the gray. Oh, it's got to be the tropical. Oh, did they have the did they have the desert tans? Um. No. Yeah, they, it's, it's tropic they, lightning, but. Yeah, dude, that, with, that's a oh, fire. You know, with the white <laughs> pants, with what? Oh, with the white pants for sure. Yeah. White pants. Yes. Yes. Then, uh, that's actually kind of clean. Okay. First dude. team element for sure. Yeah. This is wonderful. And I then, really enjoyed it. All right, are There's we going still, with did, this for navy? Yeah. And then yes. Um, I say yes. we rock the Navy Army pants because they have like pants specifically for this game. Fuck that, bro! Look at how sick that uniform looks. Now nah, the yellow is Army's color, though. Yeah, you know but I mean? uh, Army's wearing tan. That's. I don't like it. I mean, I don't. Like care. if we if we were to say no gold pants, yeah, for sure. But I mean, it doesn't matter to me. We can rock yeah, whatever. They both share gold, not yellow. Army's black and gold, Navy's navy and gold. Alright, this Who is, is what we're going with. So it's just disgusting. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, so Worst uniform matchup we've ever had, for sure. I just want you to know right now, TC, not only did you take my last dollar from my cash app, now you're costing me money because we're supposed to be working right now. Oh, please. <laughs> you're the boss. They're working. Hey, don't worry about You decided to be here, dog water. Oh, don't you worry about that. To be here. You're just hey, dude, you're I, delaying I your response to a text. Brand, I'm already. And to be fair, my big boss has been blowing up my phone this morning, but it's my off day, so I'm like, fuck that. Hey, dude, I, I fucking cracked my windshield already. Like, my boss, bad. My boss at McDonald's once called me in when I was getting my wisdom teeth out. Well, like literally, should have gone. No, I, 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 I thought I'd be right fucking there, dude. I get, All right, get these, paid to be high. These fucking... are so gross. Dude, the, okay, the the pants are it's disgusting, so but the ugly. jerseys are absolutely. It's so ugly. I love this. Army. Army Navy. looks fucking fire. I think Army's uniform Army looks, looks fucking decent. amazing. I mean, Navy Army has ugly. to be the favorite, right? Julian Kemp and uh, all the SFA players, but Navy's had a good year. It's a rivalry game. You never know. They moved it up. It's not week 15 anymore. Because it's a conference game. I think that's why. It's always a good game because they're both equally garbage. That's what I have to say. <laughs> All right, Navy gets the ball first. Oh, my God. They fumble it on the opening possession here. Still get out to the 20. Army, Navy. I don't know who the quarterback is. They're both 72, so. Kenzo Carter is the massive guy at the bottom of your screen. 6'4", or 6'5". Still kind of short. A throw it first play. It works out. Oh, my God. He broke two tackles. Burn is Cesaro, SFA player. What a great uh, debut. Oh, he's so shit. So, Broussard is starting for him. So, he is the um, worst of the two quarterbacks. I don't know why you're saying he's shit. He just broke two tackles. 31 I just remember his player card coming out, and everyone was like, that is the worst wide receiver we've ever seen. And they were right. It was a pretty bad uh, player card. Got a little toss play. Breaks one. And brought down. I thought you said the worst wide receiver you saw went to uh, Air Force. I don't know why you guys hate on SFA players. They're all good. No, it, it's that 5'8 dude you made that went to Air Force that's actually dog shit. <laughs> like, he's terrible even at Air Force. I mean, I get it's Air Force, but. You talking about Brock Baxter? Mm-mm. There is Hayward Bay. No, he's no. talking about Bernice it's Cesaro. It's the dude on the... <laughs> oh, yeah, I really think you mean Bernice Cesaro, dude. 
Yeah. Well, good start here for the army. Oh, what I'm counting your bear cave right now. You see, you put up 21. Hey, I'll take it. That was mine. Didn't get there yet. Bear cave will be. Yeah, oh, my bear cave. Oh, picks? Oh, no, shit, incomplete. Only 13 this week, dog water. So Carter just has a little. Too yeah, I, I see you, dude. My bear cave got shit on. I went from fifth to second, and I'm going to go from second to fifth. <laughs> All right, got to return now. All right, Julian Kemp. That is the worst stat line I've ever seen. 9 to 25 for 87. Gross. All right, mate. The guy to watch is the tight end, Major Catch. Play. And Ruddy Rogers. He's the size of caliber right there. Oh, there goes Kemp. So, Ruddy Rogers, tw number 25, easy to spot because he's 5'6. And then I think Major Cash is number eight. I thought the Army coach switched the option. Uh, he's running like triple, o or he's running like a spread option offense. So still, is, um, still is uh, he pulled back in, didn't he? He just, he's just not. No, he's uh, tight end. Okay, flip it out wide here. Oh, dear. Quentin Perry goes airborne. Liking this offense so far. All right, Florida man, you're next up. Just tell me how trash I did. Ruddy Rogers, his first carry goes nowhere. Watch out for Ty Terry, top of your screen number ninety six, I believe. I really wanted Ty Terry when he came out. I thought he was going to be so much better. Oh, big run by the receiver, Michael Davis. All right, we're, they're popping off. Was Ty, Ty Terry wasn't a part of the first ever group, right? No, he's, he's a, he was part of the first group of the new pitch system in season eight. Okay, I thought he was like, a, but like he wasn't like week one, right? I don't know. Hmm. Damn, so the pitch system didn't last long at all, did it? How many lasted like what three seasons? <laughs> I mean, that's the longest any of our systems have lasted. Because we oh. had, we had, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, well, we started recruits and technically it was season four. Oh, Ruddy Rogers. Um, technically season four, but they came in season five and then six. So it was basically two seasons. Um, actually three. So four, five, and six. And then. Um, seven was the year Jay Jettas and Neil and whoever shit the bed. That giraffe. Was horrific. Yeah, giraffe. Oh, there we go, Ruddy. Touchdown Army. All right. SFA players doing great things. Um, and then season eight, nine, ten, and eleven. That was four years of pitch system. And then this year. Actually, no. Season eleven was the was the new version so we're on year two yeah so, well so yeah, but like the pitch system it did like it at least it wasn't completely revamped you know what i mean yeah no it's pretty much the same thing it, it has that going for it uh fake news uh, that's gonna be on bear cave so you don't need to worry about that one <laughs> is ucf arkansas state gonna be bear cave you'll have to find out after this game <laughs> Big return from Navy. Where's Crow? Crow, Crow, Crow. It might be Sickos. It might be the first game. It might be not even on it. So who knows? I took Chet Doge in my fantasy just because I know my corners are going to get burnt. I mean, Chet Doge is a beast, so. Exactly. And I have no trust in my secondary. I just don't think he does something that good at back to back weeks. I'll take him. But like, I'm not taking him this week because I want to save him for a week where he's not. You know what I mean? I think he sims insane stats. So if he's on Bear Cave, it may not be as big of a result. All right, Navy, come on. You got to do something. Oh, yamming it. And there's Kenzo Carter. Oh, baby. 
Breaks one. Oh, Kenzo. TC. So Would you like to have a team that sims well? <laughs> uh, you know what? How does it feel not to have a know. team that <laughs> likes to lose in overtime every week? Huh? No, every oh, week. on a sim, we don't get to overtime. We lose forty-four to seven. Eight dog water in my UCF dynasty. Uh, Arizona beat number one Utah. How do you feel about that? I don't give a fuck because that's not the SFA. <laughs> I know, but uh, don't you wish you could do that? The only way we beat number one is if they were the number one last season and now suck. Yeah. Oh dear. All right, they finally make a play. Army zoning this game so far. Well, I mean, that's kind of what we expect. <laughs> yeah, but they lost to Marshall last week, so it's like weird. Like, I thought they're going to be good this year. Yeah, but no, see, but they probably are. It's just one of those BS sim games. All right, well, there's a fourth down. So the Because I've noticed a lot of the playbooks and the way people set their teams up. They so suck on sim, but they're good on BC and game day. Yeah. Those uniforms are so ugly. Oh, 100%. Just can't get my mind off of it. No, dude, it's, it's crispy. It's not crispy. I mean, Army is fine, but Navy yeah, is, the is Navy, a little... Yeah, uh, It looks like Kansas if they decided to... kind of looks like Kansas uniforms. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Navy, yeah, yeah, can you do sure. something? So it looks like both teams had, at this point, abandoned the triple option playbooks. So Navy, with whatever coach they hired in game, runs the new playbooks. Plus, Marshall has a um, they have a coach now, don't they? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, broken tackles galore. Why is everybody running the Navy offense? What's here, Florida man? You tell me, because you're you're running it too. What's so good about it? Uh, sims very well. That's literally the entire point of it. Also works because I have a fast QB. The worst playing the game. All right, second and fourteen. Like the halfback toss is so garbage. Like why? Why is it in the game at this point? Well, it's, like it's, your linemen just don't block one guy ever. Because a lot of triple time. option teams use pitches. What do you think? Oh my! All right, a fourteen-yard run on second down. The whole point of the triple option is to set the edge. What do you do on a toss play? Set the edge. No, yeah, but like, if you're not simming it, the toss sucks. Well, the actual toss is fine and can be good. It's that fake. It's that fake fullback dive to the toss that never works because it never. No, that one works out. for me in game. That one what? works for me. Yeah. No shot. No shot. We've shot. only ever seen it off on the SFA like twice though. The real toss. I mean, the right the fake dive to a toss is almost as rare as a fake punt. If Navy somehow pulls this game off, they'll be four and one. That's crazy. Well, then you have no choice but to rank them. And, uh, I ranked them the other week because they were three and zero, but then they lost. Yeah. But to be fair, they lost to Air Force, another rivalry game, so. Yeah. I've noticed that about NCAA. It doesn't matter how good your teams are unless it's like a fucking 30 to 40 overall difference. If it's a rivalry game, they're always close for some reason. Oh, my. Yeah, like, look, Kevin Harvey yeah. taking over this game. Like, I, like I, my 95 overall team has lost to 70 overall teams just because it's an away game. Literally the only reason. Well, I mean, like, overall-wise, which is why, like, I tell Nick and them, like, it doesn't matter as much as you think. It's because last season, Arizona State was, like, 12 overalls higher than me, and we still beat them. Yeah, but, like, upsets happen, though. Like, that's just college football. Yeah, it but is, upsets but happen sure. constantly here. Yeah. It's but just I mean, because they... Like, I think, who was it, Fink, that did, like, a write-up last season about... How overalls affect the like 
the record, like overall to record correlation. And it was like direct correlation. I mean, it matters more. Yeah, than but explain game. like Binks. He's a, he was like a 70 overall and puts up over 2,000 yards and like 30 something touchdowns. And then when everybody said he had an off year on half the carries, he still had 1,200 yards. I think that he is extremely suited well to the offense. And I think the offense, the way that McNasty sets it, I mean, his his offense is like 75% run. Just like he, yeah, no, I, I mean, I get, get that, but it's like at the same time, like if you watch Binks, like he's bullying people out there as a 70 over. <laughs> it's going to be Hennessy next year. I mean, I don't doubt it. I'm just upset that we're not going to have a boss Hennessy quarterback. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was not going to. The reason I wanted him so bad is because he literally is like the same size. As Cardale, as Cardale, Cardale was so yeah. good on game well, day. Like, he was always the best player on game day. I've noticed that overall it does not matter. Like, size matters. Like that, that size is the matters so thing. much more it's on game so day much. for whatever reason. Well, like, Taylor McQueen's only a 74 overall middle linebacker, but he plays so well because he's 6'3", 220. Yeah. Yeah, size definitely matters for whatever reason. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but also it's like it, it almost makes it, it, it matters way game. more. It, it matters so much more on game day. Like it, like the sim is kind of like whatever, but on game day, like the well, weight. See, yeah, that's why I get screwed so much on sim. Like, I, if you yeah. look at it, every time we like base sim, if I play a team that's even above average, I'm getting smoked. But if I go play yeah. the same team on game day, I'm gonna kick their ass. <laughs> yeah. My running back's like, oh my god! Oh, oh, that's tough. What are you doing, Broussard? Jesus! He had a I just still think I'm a linebacker. Oh, this is a tight end pick. Yeah, he had a wide open lane on the right too. Just my uh, running back this year. Oh. oh. And just got bleed on game day versus Arizona. I think it was like 26 carries for 28 yards. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what you said because it cut out for me. Sorry, I was saying that my running back is so small and he got okay, bullied right against right Arizona. I mean, see, but like, is that like a case of your running back bad or Arizona's rush defense is good? Well, because even last season back, we were top five in rush defense. I mean, I think it's both, but my running back is 5'9", 220. <laughs> or well, like 5'9", 190. Because, so, uh, I, the reason I had asked TC oh, for the fumble. sliders is because... Oh, man. I had taken um, all my SFA like players game, and put them on Florida State in a, just a dynasty of my own. Just because I don't know. And... Mm-hmm. Um, what is you're very robot Yeah, you're uh, so yeah, robot I, totally I can't understand. Understand. Static, man. I totally understood all that. I understood one word. Oh, no, I'm inside. One word. Three I heard 425, and that was it. Three turnovers in the first quarter. Come on, AD. Oh. Is this better? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was saying, like, so I took my SFA players, and that's why I got the uh, sliders from TC, so I could, like, put them all on Florida State for just, like, a dumb dynasty for me. And the 4 2 5, I don't know what it is. It's just so fucking potent against the run. And guess what I run? The four two five. Well, I, but like at the same time, I don't know if it's because I have such physical SFA players. Like my guys fucking hit. No, but I, I have mediocre linebackers in my dynasty with like default sliders, except the speed sliders changed all the way down. But even then, it still stops the run. Like I'm always like top ten run defense, even with like eighty overall linebackers. 
Well, I'm pretty sure like the lowest like rated tackler I have on my defense, like in the secondary, is like seventy something tackle. Oh yeah, I'm in a deep. Oh, broken tackle. I really always like the three four for whatever reason. It always seems to make my linebackers do really well. God, these linebackers. But see, like before I started to the four two five, like I've always been a three four guy myself. Come on, ready, ready. Base four. Three. But like, and I thought about going to the three four because I have some good linebackers, but the four two five just gets all my playmakers on the field. An army play. That's what it was. That's called an army play. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the IRL, but. Tell you what, though, IRL, you'll never see an army navy game where the teams are three and two and three and one. That's true. I mean, you might see them three or six, three or seven. <laughs> no, it's an end of the year game, but there's they still suck. So. Yeah. All right. Oh, doing. touchdown! There we go. This is one of the most competent army scene I've ever I've ever seen. I That's because they got players. SFA players. <laughs> yeah, exactly. These dudes are have to serve in the military, by the way, later on, unless they get drafted. Wait, why? Why is this not um, an end of the year game? Is it because they're in the same conference now? Yeah. Yeah, I said that earlier. No. Oh. Which is good. I'd rather have the conference game. Deal with the mediocrity beforehand. Well, otherwise, it would create scenarios where we'd have to extend seasons by an additional week if it was, like, worth watching. Oh, yeah, because of all the – especially because of all the rivalry games. Yeah, it would have to be a week 14 matchup, which it would never be because both these teams suck. But I mean, but the good thing, though, even though, like, rivalry week is the last – like, technically the last week, even though we have week 15. But most of the time, it's, it's usually down between one or two games if all the other teams suck. All right, Navy, you got to score here, otherwise it's kind of kind of over. What in the world is that linebacker doing? Robbie Crosby. Come on, I need a Chris Cooley sighting. It's oh. still raining dog water. Sprinkling now, but still raining. It's still raining off and on over here. I'm sitting in my office. I didn't understand a single word of that. I'm just trying to get you to be good because of the yeah, South Carolina law cannot put pesticide down in the rain. And yeah, I mean, it just washes off. Well, it, well, I mean, exactly. our chemical is water based, but the rain creates potential runoff, and that's a fifty thousand dollar fine from Clemson. So I'm good. Yeah, also, I do not need a fifty thousand dollar fine. Florida with the dog of her, too, kind of, eh. Makes stuff harder. Well, the biggest problem is we're coastal, oh. and if you're coastal, you got so many fucking runoff things. And 
and another turnover. This Kenzo Carter guy. All right, so Army's gonna. He caught that, I think, on the on the on the drop. No, yeah, they already called it an interception. No. no, I don't know about that one, Chief. He was going out of bounds. I don't know about uh, that, Chief. Over on downs. Oh. Oh. That's what it was. I thought he picked it. Mm -hmm. I thought so too. Oh, big sack there. Feels like Navy could come back, but man, I'm blowing it. Working to perfection. Oh, broken tackle. There they go. Ruddy now. Oh, Jesus. There's that size factor. down are they punting this would be a weenie punt okay good they're going for it six for six just a little read option and you're good oh a counter that's not gonna work did they give him that no i think he barely crossed what that's so aids man there's no shot or they may have pulled a Michigan. All right, Who Dogwater, knows? I guess, pulled a fast one and paid off for Army. Interesting. Why are you going to be me, everybody, y'all? Interesting. I mean, you're, I think you're the wealthiest one of the people. No, you're the call. one who's been convicted of it. That, too. What do you mean I'm the wealthiest person here? I'm pretty sure fucking Big Nasty is the wealthiest person here. I said in the call. Are you fucking Big Ballin? I mean, McNasty can't afford Patreon, so who really knows, right? I mean, is it can't afford, or <laughs> wife says he can't afford it? Because my wife told me I couldn't afford it, and I said I'm doing it anyway, so. Chelsea's just mad about Flipper Masters. Oh, ruddy. But no, dude, she, dude, she, no, she's mad that she lost out on that fucking linebacker last Thursday the other day. Oh yeah, because she put like seven hundred fifty thousand down for him. Yeah, I know. I Stanford saw that, and then the ability. Stanford coach just big nutted that one. No, Why? I'm glad. I'm glad the Stanford coach did that. I told her, do not go all in on one fucking recruit. That's not going to help you right now. Yeah, I mean, it did for me. Like, I mean, like, I get it. A stud linebacker is great for anybody, but if you need offense as badly as she does, a Spending your entire budget on a middle linebacker makes no sense. Yeah, that's true. I mean, in my opinion, the first thing you do on a new team is offensive line, and then in the first two seasons, one quarterback, one um, running back, whichever you, one you want first. But she already has the quarterback, so. Well, I went the complete opposite, and I just stacked as many SFA players as I could possibly afford within my first two seasons. And now I have like thirteen players. Yeah, that's good too. Oh, yeah, I'll probably go for transfer portal O line in the next season. Well, so like my first first two seasons here, like everybody only ever really wanted to go after like the 
three to five star guys. So like Poe Castle, who's balling out for me, he was a one star. Alan Lazard, who had that crazy touchdown against Tennessee, he's a one. He was a one star. Yeah. I yeah, still never recruited like a five star on in my classes. I've tried. When you told I, I wasn't even going to go after Gamora until you told me he was Josh Allen or he was based after Josh Allen. <laughs> Oh, Cornelitz gets there. Because I still had that. Because uh, when I, whenever I was recruiting, I wasn't planning on leaving Memphis. Yeah. And we still had that quarterback that was going to be like an 83 overall senior. The uh, the old bust. What's his name? McCoy. Yeah, Case McCoy. Yeah. Uh, I I planned on going after quarterback then, and then you said he was. You sent me the picture where he was actually he used to be named Josh Allen. I said, "Well, that's my quarterback." Oh my god! We live and die by Gamora. The Vanderbilt the Vanderbilt coach just put up four points in their case. You love to see it. How many did I put up? A nine. <laughs> oh, really? sorry, 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 seven. Yeah, I was, Damn. I was shot. I got more than I got nine. I th- only one I hit was Ole Miss cover. I think you can. You just start putting the um the uh, Patreon game at the end. It would make my life so much easier. Yeah, you shitters. I do it in the order he streams it, man. Yeah, like but okay. Oh hell no! What the fuck is Brian doing here? I'll do it next time, though. Don't worry. Thank you. Let's do it. Thirty seconds. Can Army do anything? I don't know, man. Navy could get skunked today. They've looked shit. I mean, both teams have looked kind of shit, man. Army just looked less shit. <laughs> 17 for Coco. No, Ken popping off. Timeout, so we're going to get a yam. Oh my, talk about a rainbow. Oh my! And he can't stay up. <coughs> All right, there's the half. <coughs> bit of a step pad. Just step pad on a bit. Yeah, seriously. 14 0. Bit of a oh. wacko first half. This guy, Chum Toad, did not get a single thing right. Not, ch- yeah, Chum Toad. He took Vandy? No, like, he, like the order he put it in is, like, all out of whack and shit. Yeah. I'm going to start putting mine out of order. No, <laughs> please don't. Dude, why don't you just avoid all the ones that are completely out of order like that? Because I didn't say... I mean, I... Like, well, no, you did say before, like, you, you, no, you sent out a message that, that told us, like, which way you preferred it. No, like, genuinely, yeah. he starts off Southern Miss, Iowa State, and every game after that is either, like, missing or, like, out of order and shit. I just wouldn't do yeah, it. I'd pull his ass fucking quick as hell. What, yeah, because I, I think... What I you could one. do to fix your problem is on the sheet, insert them, not in order, but in terms of, uh... In, uh, what, alphabetical order? And then you can just, uh, sort everybody's submissions to match it in theory yes but no because each game has two different outcomes now yeah that's what i was that's what i was thinking unless i alphabetized each game not nah, that's he went with texas and then he went with uh he didn't pick ecu or it was oh he picked a wisconsin no cover i'd love to see how that's fucking possible Makes me a little bit angry. So 
So, just to confirm, for the cover and no cover, like if uh, if like UCF plus fourteen, it's they just within fifth within fourteen, uh, within fourteen of the uh, final score, like the point difference. Oh, another fumble. Uh, yes. It... Yeah. If you are if if the other team is favored by fourteen, you would cover if you lose by anything less than fourteen. But what if I won? Then you covered. You you technically won outright, but if somebody put UCF or if somebody put Southern Miss no cover, they would get a point because they didn't cover. No, talking about for CC Sportsbook. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. if you like, yeah, you cover no matter what. Like that's the thing is. If you lose by 13 and the other team is favored by 14, you still cover. If you win by 50, you still cover. It's not like it doesn't change that fact. Like, uh... it's almost, yeah, I mean, it's it's almost as if, like, the game, you just get handicapped 14 points going in, right? And then uh... at that point, whoever wins, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, I understand now. And for the yeah. opposite way, if you're favored, if you lose at all, essentially you just ex- – to cover, you essentially expect them to more win by more than that amount. That's on there, and if yeah. they do less, it's ain't. okay. God, God. yeah. If bu- if Buffalo is favored by ten and they win by nine, then they did not cover. They they lost against the spread. <laughs> or if they lose, they also didn't cover. Okay. They also did not cover if they lose. Yes. Yeah, okay, I understand. Right. There we go. First and goal. But it's also different the way it works between Sportsbook and Bear Cave. So just keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Because after all, underdogs can't cover on Bear Cave. By the way, Kenzie doing the haul, like, push and money line. I was like, dog. Yeah. I know you're in here, but god dang, man, come on. Oh, my God. That was a my left right here. That should have been a pick. That Jeez. that should have been a pick. Someone like, dude literally had it in his hands and decided to shove it down into the grass. Brady. Please, just score. There we go. Bernie Cesaro, baby. The, none of you guys wanted to recruit him. Score and touch. Hate him. Hate him. The Canadian who somehow serves in the U.S. Navy. Uh, <laughs> don't you need a recommendation from a U.S. senator to get in? I don't know, man. Yeah, against the service academies, you need a recommendation. That's good on Sundays. Center. I do like the lore, you know, the lore potential that I feel like it's not been, uh, it's not been handled as well as it could have been. I think I think there should have been more lore about that. Yeah, it's it's a, it was a bad situation because like. That Navy coach, he was so active and then just stopped instantly. Right after he got him, I'm like, okay. Fake news. Hopefully not fake news so I can gamble my money away. Well, that's the part that I can't stand the most is when like coaches sign like a big player, not just anyone, just like a really big name. And they quit my plot. Yeah, well, see, that's a weird one because – he came back. Are you, no, I'm talking about South, do you guys so South Alabama's coach, what was it? Uh Corant or whatever his yeah, name yeah. was? Yep, Corant. Signed, signed the number one different like number one player in the country and then just like fucked off. <laughs> he just left. I know that seems to be pretty common is just inactive users getting the best players in the class. No, they just look into a situation where half the time nobody pitched to it. And that one was during the pitch system where there was controversy around it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that it yeah. just sounded way too <laughs> just, just to say the least, there was controversy around that one. <laughs> hey, D.D. Holmes wasn't my fault. That was Sphinx's fault. Oh, Julian Kemp, baby. He wouldn't have wanted to go to South Alabama to a new coach. No one would have. 
No, the number yeah, one that's guy. That's not realistic in the slightest. Number one overall recruit going to South Alabama. Based on to a guy his, who just got there this on, week. I mean, the, the number two recruit Bruce. flipped from FSU to FCS. So. Oh my God! What a throw. Based on the recruit, and I mean, it's not. It made sense. It just. He wanted fame. He's not going to get fame going to South Alabama. I mean, he's going to be their star player. So, I mean, technically, he's getting fame by being on a smaller team. I told him he was going to be put on the back of Neelan. The back of Neelan Stadium's built the scores thing. Yeah, he was going to be like the number one guy. He was going to be a captain. He was going to be all Uh, right. Guys, we know he's going to make sure your area is five feet from the top. I mean, if we're being realistic, if he went to Tennessee, he would have been registered and buried on the depth chart for three years. <laughs> True. <laughs> 500,000. God, Someone, this is my somebody's favorite. Somebody's going to watch this on replay and wonder what the fuck Dogwater's saying is this fucking little... Yeah, <laughs> man. Robotic. Like, all right, let me know. I couldn't... Nice oh, All right, then you will. Hey, All I could afford was a. Just then, so I don't know you were choking on something. <laughs> it did actually. <laughs> Pain and watch party with suicide. Do you think it is on the lab? <laughs> We've not seen Major Cash make one play. Come on. <clears throat> the only I want you to know, TC, the only reason I did not bread shirt sippins was because I was so scared after <laughs> after fucking Malcolm Coke. Uh what was his name? Malcolm Coke. Yeah, I was terrified. <laughs> Otherwise, would have gotten a red shirt. Dude, I was oh, so man, another sack. Because my right out I red shirt you know, two star this season, and then he fucking red her. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, that's so great, or I saw unless, that happened. I can't understand. <laughs> oh. Yeah, man. Totally understood all that static. Absolutely understood that. All right, army of ten. Already ten point game. Come on, Navy, you gotta do something. Flame, I didn't expect you to sound like my math teacher. <clears throat> didn't expect that. Big three ways high between me, B Dog, and Sky Flyer. Ooh. No, as long as it's not Mike winning another player, I'm good. You just don't want. Has he won like a barricade player every time? He wins. I'm pretty sure he's probably won about 80% of the total server. Yeah, he ever, wins but... pretty much everything. Like, except fantasy. Everything. He won fantasy last year. He got, yes. He's gotten a barricade player three years in a row. He won IRL. Yeah, barricade. he won. He, yeah. he, won yeah, he got ahead of me on, on fantasy this past week, too, by three points. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So now he's the leader. So, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> It, it, the funniest thing, though, it's like server game success does not translate to on-field success. <laughs> not in the slightest. <clears throat> like, I'm failing miserably at Bear Cave, and yet I'm still held 2 and 3. Well, Better than Canty you'll OP still, or Mr. Uh, 1 and 5. You'll still get a recruiting bonus by participating, which is nice. Yeah, Mr. 1 and 4, Kenzie. Why she... Can you stop Dog oh, water, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. They've been Kill looking at your robot. Dog water sounds like he's dying right now. You know what it sounds like? It's like like when the robots start glitching in the cartoons. Yes, or when they're dying. And yeah. they start sounding static -y. Chum toes. <laughs> Worst call ever. Oh my god. What a throw. 
That's a Josh Gamora ball right there. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> Just because I can't talk to me, you going to talk shit about Gamora, all right? Uh, of course, now, now you sound rude. Why is Josh Allen on the Madden 24 cover anyway? Honestly. For real. Y'all haters. Y'all haters. Dead game. What I don't understand is why Dog Rudder is even a Bills fan. That's what yeah. I don't understand. He's a, he's because he's my god, god that's what I'm here. That's what I'm here. And that was a bandwagon. Dude, he is a bandwagon. He owns a Bronco shirt. Like, Ooh, not, not yet. Bandwagon. Soon. Only dude I like on the Hey, Bronco and first of all, too. I'm going to tell you right now, ain't nobody in this motherfucker ever going to call me a Buffalo Bills bandwagon fan. I did not sit through decades <laughs> of fucking dog shit quarterbacks to fucking have somebody call me a bandwagon fan just because we got a little something good going on. I mean, to be fair, we've only known you we since even Josh Allen important. has been there. So who really knows when you really became a Bills fan? Hey, man, were you there when Jim <laughs> Kelly was there? Hey, man, you lost four Super Super Bowls in a row, man. Four in a row. Yeah, that was literally before I was alive, so. Exactly. Don't, don't know. It's all right. The Broncos lost I mean, the most Super Bowls, so, you know, whatever. We have three. Yeah, yeah we've yeah, lost I, the I most straight Seahawks Super Bowls. Super Bowl. That Seahawks Super Bowl, man. 43 to 8. Dude, I, I don't Damn, care man. what any 20, of y'all oh, went through. Play. None of y'all. Can you imagine if they got the burners? I'm just love. I just love stirring up crap as a Jags fan. No, I, I don't want to hear shit because nobody in uh, nobody in the NFL can say that they've had to fucking. Nobody can has to sit there and say their team went to four straight Super Bowls and lost all four. Yeah, Would you imagine you, the internet yeah. was around for that? That'd be oh, so. Funny. That, yeah, I mean, I think dial up might have been around like the very first version. Of no, it was dial up wasn't even around then. No one's going to boot up their dial-up to talk shit on the Bills. <laughs> I mean, some people did. Early nah, right, what do you mean? What what you do it every day. You talking shit, you do it every day. To be fair, I've never even cared about the Bills till I met you. It's just, uh, I like to get you going. <laughs> I, I mean, what sucks, though, is I actually like the Broncos, so it's like it's hard to talk shit about them because I actually like them. <laughs> yeah, Hi, it's dude. just... But I hate Russell Wilson. You'll never hear me say a good thing Russell about that Wilson's guy. You know, sex. I hated Bro. him, too, until he came to our team. I was super hyped, and then he had that last year. Now I still hate him. <laughs> then he waited until, like, the last two to get more passing touchdowns than bathrooms. Anybody else okay, remember yeah, that saga? Yeah, whatever. Well, no, it's going to be my luck, you see, because... He, he missed he it. Did. All right, missed field goal. They're still in it. I mean, it's going to be my luck. Now that right I'm, I'm going to wear a left, fucking... Think, TC. Hey, man, at least it was like a 40-50 yard or not like a uh, wide left over here. All right, buddy. Pain. Well, I mean, it's like, now that I'm going to wear a Russell Wilson shirt every Sunday, God, I don't know why I agreed to that. You but... called that, too, by the way. You literally said, the, I yep. don't trust my kicker. Yeah, you called I, that too, because, TC. as you saw the last week on Bear Cave, I can't have nice things. Me winning a natty is probably the worst thing for the SFA, so the blue square just doesn't allow it oh, to happen. So I, I lose can, I can in the worst it. fucking possible ways ever. Like, well, making the course, natty is a lose-lose for you. Of course the game has me throw a pick, and then I get the pick right back to have some hope, and then I lose in overtime. It just happens every single fucking time. You have hope, but then the game destroys it. Yeah. That's what I'm, well, I mean, TCB, the game about it, you that. making the natty is a lose-lose. Because if you lose, you're going to get clowned for losing the natty, but if you win, you won't ever hear the end of breaking. Eh. So exactly. uh, at least yeah. at least with the addition of Patreon, like I have everybody watching me do the off-screen sims now. Anyways, so there's zero rigging accusations. They, they, I mean, there's still, still, still some that are like still, jokes. The like accusations like will still come. Don't worry. Yeah. I feel like Except right now, they're all coming for me for fucking buying off a ref. Well. 
You did. Because you did. You How did, did that man. even start? How did I even become the focal point of blaming for the refs? Well, you what happened said, here? So you said something, and then Florida State wins on a walk-off touchdown that was very, very close, wasn't even reviewed. Okay, whatever, that's one thing. And then in your game day, you're winning 27-0, getting every face mask call under the sun. No, actually, as a matter of fact, they missed three face uh, face masks on us and then called the only one. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, they got some bad news. Still, I, I can't hear. What is this bad news? Two out of the three people in this call are... Wait, no. Fuck. Uh, the top three in Bear Cave are... Two of them are in this call, and it's not the two that you want. Oh, no. It's Mike, T huh? Seeing dog water? Huh? Boo. It is dog water. Boo. Oh, let's go. Yeah. I don't even know if Mike's in here, but Mike is at um Mike's only at a hundred points. He's at uh thirteenth? No, twelfth place. He'll make a comeback. <laughs> and somehow. Let get me third. guess is is T C and Dogwater top three? Yeah, I just said that. Uh, let's go. Wait, I'm still in the top three? <laughs> You're in the lead, buddy. I'm in the what? Because J Jet is in Skyflare, both shit the bed this week. Yeah, he picked me oh, over baby. Southern Mists. Oh, baby, dude, Mike Wishbone 2.0, baby. No, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be like fucking. I don't even know, I, dude. If you get my guy, um, oh. You won Bear Cave last time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it will be whoever gets first gets your guy. So what? What would your positions be? Oh, first down. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't have any. Oh, you don't know. Never mind. No. Um, but I'd imagine I'd be offense. I mean, Juice Fix has been amazing. Oh, God. I'm his blocking. begging for another wide receiver. If I can get first place in that again. I could totally see myself being like an offense, like a, like a QB running back type of guy. I don't know. Boo, going with the normal crap. So, Come right on, tackle. Go for a... gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I was like, go for a left tackle, man. Oh, touchdown, Joe Stuckey. All right, three point game. Let's see what we get. Army completely choking their nuts off here. They've been so much better. This was 14 0 at one point. Yep. Time to on to Tutty Tally. Oh, uh, when are you doing the Tutty Tally reaction thing? Well, I just said time to move on to Tutty Tally. <laughs> Fake news. I already know mine to the Hank is Morgan bidding in a touchdown. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure both mine hit. I know for sure one of them did. Calvin Parker, legend. Yeah. No, wait, I think one of my missed. Actually, no, I don't know. I know I missed it. I might just, like, throw up a Ty Schultz just to move on this week. I don't like using him early, but... Ty Schultz. What do you mean, Ty Schultz? Why are you saying it like that? Who's Ty Schultz? Are you serious? <laughs> Fuck you. Uh... Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> Come on, man. The, the Buffalo propaganda, it's alive and well. Uh. Dude, I can't believe... Dude, TC, I was i was talking about this with, with Dogwater and Mike. Um, Mango, like, you know how he like, was, went to, like, bend me over by picking one of my players? So I, I didn't have a good week. Yeah. I had a bye week. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't submit this week. Or he like, submitted Tutty Tally. Oh, Tutty Tally. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's one of the things on fantasy where I'm just like, uh, I can't tell you that they're on a bye week, but nice pick. Usually I'll tell people, but this no. week I, 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 thought it, I thought it was funny. I only tell them if it's a non-SFA player. Mm. Same thing with like injury. Someone submitted uh, Colt Brennan, Mike, or, or, or also uh, Chet Doge while he was hurt. 
All right, Army. They could finish it here with a touchdown. Um, TC pin Moon. Okay, Moon's the last one. But then some people just don't do the reaction, and I just have to figure it out. Yeah, I'm not the best with the little reaction thing. Because <laughs> most time. Well, I you I know. <laughs> You, it's hard, too, because some people, it's like, oh, I have a DM from them, so they probably submitted it. But, like, with you, it's like a crapshoot of whether or not you submit it. All right. Ready, Rogers? Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I think Hogan finally, you know, put in his offense for once. It's all. Oh, Kemp, baby. Don't fumble. He's already fumbled like twice this game. Yep. Yo, also is um is Logan right? He allowed to just like override Flame on the playbook. Did you see that? Uh Flame, is that an official submission? Yeah, that's official. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean I didn't know if like Oh Julian Kemp is hurt. Oh wow. dear. Oh. Oh. Back up in we have no clue who this guy is, but they come out empty. Big dick move here by Coolio. They're One minute to go. Dumps it off. Ruddy gets the first and more. Ruddy Rogers down to the one. Bro, why is it always the backup quarterbacks? Absolutely boring. Silva. <laughs> I mean, doesn't quite apply for doesn't quite apply for South Carolina and Zach though. Ryan Leaf, Chris Jacobs. Yeah. Ruddy Rogers. No, he can't get in. Maybe he has to get this goal line stand. Who is my tidy tally pick for speech, Down Tennessee? Army. Great. All right. What in the fuck is that? It's the donkey, the army donkey. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't think it quite looks like that in real life, though. Think you're a hater? No, just think it looks dumb. Kemp is out for the game. Strain back Brutal. for one quarter. So it'll be Silva, but they got the touchdown. That's all they needed. But maybe now. Your Navy, you gotta score before you use those timeouts. Remember to follow the Instagram as I'm posting something from Pinstripe today. You want to see oh, first down, Rob Gaithier. At a certain point, I just have to start excluding people that let them do the reactions. Oh, that could have been the end. Oh. What time are you are you releasing Barricade? Like how long after this? Um, like right after this. Well, I have everything set. It's just Wait, who are you talking long to? It, however long it takes me to post all these games, and then obviously I gotta look at the game day poll and make an adjustment if I have to. But, Were you talking to the standings or like the? No, bear cave, bear cave. Okay. Like, yeah. This and week's then bear um, cave. Nick, Nick has all the lines, so I uh, probably the lines will be sometime today. He just has to make the over unders and stuff. I'm excited to see if my algorithm goes crazy two weeks in a row. All right, game on the line here, fourth and six. And I was excited because, like, a lot of those over-unders were pretty pretty close last week, so. And I still did pretty well. A run? Oh, my God. That's the game. Navy chokes it. Been last week was the one. worst week for my parlay. I think I only hit two legs last week. You, you got to start making, like, you can submit that one, whatever, but you got to start making better bets to make some money no yeah I, I put 1k on the parlay each week yeah i only hit the old miss bandy over and then the box and college yeah, money i can't lines. believe I my sicko streak ended because of the ecu money line that one was rough 
Yeah, I took ECU cover, by the way. So, I thought you were going to win. Oh my god, Jared was so good. Alright, it's not over, over, but. Oh, coins like that. Not looking good. Ready? Convert? No. Alright, Navy getting the ball back. Unless Army goes for it. And they are. Ooh. I'm calling my shot. Pick six here. Get him back in the game. It's for the kill shot. All right. Oh, Ruddy gets oh, it. Three, three pass. Oh, we That's get a it. hurdle. Ruddy Jeez. Rogers, have yourself a day. What a debut. I think he's got like 200 yards on the game. Look at that play selection. 50 rushing plays compared to 16 passes. Silva going crazy. Remember, this VOD will be available later on today. Thornman, you did not watch it. I didn't hit Tutty Tally? No. Yeah. Samson hit, but Morgan didn't. I'm sad about that. Neither did Sved. This is the worst year of Tutty Tally ever. Yeah, well, the year like where I would go for six to start the year was the worst. Well, year. I mean, as as a unit. Yeah, did anybody make a pass tier four this week? Um, about to go check. Kenneth Williams, if he did, then. Oh no, he didn't. He fucked me. And yeah, no, we're all still stuck up by tier four. Yeah, no. All right. That's so what I mean. Army <laughs> gets it done. Coolio to four and two. Big W. That was a. Decent game for sure. Ruddy Rogers, great debut. Surprisingly Kenzo. decent amount of passing. Kenzo Carter as well. So some SFA players popping off. Mike didn't hit either. He's still on tier three. Did Boozler score? Yes. Kenzie moves on to tier four. Stratton from Oregon State. Uh, they played it. FCS school, I want to say, so they should be in Pac-12. Um, but he didn't score. No way. Did Joe Shaw score? And your um, your yeah. your what is it? Uh, what is his name? Bum Toad or whatever it is. What is his name? Chum Toad. Chum Toad. Bum Toad. <laughs> um, I was gonna say your Bum Toad is my Ron. Ron oh, does why? not. Ron oh, does yeah. not. Ron gives like giant parlays and does not give odds on them. And I'm like, God, dude, drives me crazy. <laughs> By the way, for everybody in here that actually does that, I appreciate you so much. Somebody appreciates me at least. My favorite from what the week I was doing it was like. Five minutes before the end of submissions, D Sleep dropped like ten straight bets and yes. two parlays. <laughs> yes. He does that every week. Every um, week he does that, yes. You see, while I have you, can you check Joe Shaw? He's the only guy I need this week. Uh he did score. Okay. Cause I said on stream that okay, Joe Shaw, you fucked me last week and now you score, bitch, or something. I remember that vividly. Okay. So yeah. he did score. Yeah. Ruddy Rogers good. popping off. Um, Major Cash with one pancake, nothing else. Kenzo Carter, a beast. Mort Nudson, Ooh, nothing. Big news, I finally recorded all of the audio for, um, the, the video today. The recruiting rankings? Yes. From last year? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I'm type. God, I'm Let's trying go. really hard. No, listen. I mean, I'm I'm excited for it. I, I've been looking forward to it for well, it, a long it, time. Well, it'll now. be, it'll be it. interesting to see how his delayed um, like audio on our uh, on our classes translates to the success. 
Yeah, so basically, well, the, the rankings themselves were actually were, were all made before the season started, so the rankings should be fine. But it's like the actual, like, the, the commentary is going to be a little bit scuffed. Uh, and I, I mentioned players of the game, and then we will end. All right. Also, right Nick, I don't want to hear. I'm still waiting to see that uh, season 11 college football playoff pod. Hey, man, shut up. Yeah, we recorded a whole pod, um, it didn't, it didn't and it up. never saw the light of day. Well, no, it didn't. It went well. We just it was the one where you thought you were going to be able to go there, and so I told Penn, I was like, you know what, we should just post it, but we should say like featuring TC, and then like the whole time we're like, oh yeah, because like the whole time we were sitting there, the, we only realized at the very end like you weren't going to be able to make it. Yeah. So we went ahead and ended, but it, like I, I was saying, it, it would have been funny if we just said that like, oh TC was on here, and then like we, we were like, oh TC's going to be here in a little bit. And then, like, and just got through the whole pod. And then, yeah. <laughs> All right, that ends Watch funny. Party.